What's good as King Kai? TikTok is the most disgusting app that I've ever seen in my life, and I really don't like you if you use it. Now, I wanted to go over a couple reasons why, if you want to go on your self-improvement journey, that this app has to go. Uh, I'm probably going to be ranting on this video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I just had, dude, I just saw videos about this app, and it's just so stupid to me. It's so disgusting, okay? So, this is like the most, the, the darkest thing that has come out of the darkest recesses of the human mind. I don't know who made this app. He's like swimming in money, but it's it's got the rest of you like by the by the balls, okay? Like TikTok has been created to completely steal your attention and if you're on any kind of self-improvement journey, you need to value your attention. That's the point of these social media apps is to make sure that you they get as much of your attention as possible so you can watch their ads and buy their stuff, all right? And the more that you watch their stuff, the less that you're improving and the less competition that they have. Because if all if everyone's like staring at their phone, watching some stupid little dance, some little TikTok trend, then no one's gonna compete with them because they're all distracted and they understand that. But you don't. Okay. Now I listed a couple reasons why I think this is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, and it's absolutely cancerous. Like, well, for one, like I said, it steals your time. Okay. Um, when you're on the self improvement, when you're on your self improvement grind, right? It's very important for you to be able to, to focus, okay? That's like a very strong skill. But the thing is, social media apps have made it so hard for us to focus because you're constantly stimulated with something new, okay? So when you're on TikTok, you scroll and scroll and it's some new flashy thing, right? It's like, there's, there's like all kinds of stimulus. There's, a, there's music, there's fast paced videos, like there's wacky faces, there's these little filters, all kinds of different things to keep you hooked in. That makes sense? And then when you're done with this video, you scroll to the next one. And it's something completely new. Next one, something completely new. So now you're basically training your mind to constantly look for a new sense of enjoyment and, stimu and stimuli making it extremely hard for you to focus on things that need your focus. So that's why a lot of young guys can't read a freaking paragraph. Isn't that sad? Isn't it sad that there are guys who cannot read because they're just so overstimulated with their apps and their games and whatnot? Like, let's say, like, Call of Duty, for example. Call of Duty, your eyes are constantly like this. Like, if you're a played COD, you're constantly looking around. You... S if you, if you used to play, like, Black Ops and, like, World at War and Modern Warfare 2, you could see someone in the very back of Array, the snow-covered map. The second that they move to the right, pew, boom, you can see them immediately, right? We're, we're trained to see all this new stuff. Someone pops on the screen, we turn ahead, yada, yada, yada. And these apps have made it even worse. New videos, new fun, new laughs every single second. And that's why we can't focus anymore, okay? So if you want to make gains in your brain, then you need to stop using this trash, okay? Now, the second one that I wanted to talk about was, it's so, like, how like, how are people okay with this? Like, it's young girls dancing provocatively on that app. And, like, people are saying, no, 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 that's just expression. That's not expression. Like, they're, they're being sluts. And they're being praised for that. The thing is, like, if, I'm about to get canceled for saying something like that, right? But, that's not cool. If you're underage, why are you showing off your body like that? That's disgusting. And people are like liking, oh, look, oh, she's so hot. But like that's, this, this girl is underage. That's disgusting. And that app is endorsing that. And it's so gross to me. It's almost like Twitch. Like, you know how, you know how, how, how there's like stories of like these uh, girls who go on the, 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 the Twitch site and they start streaming and they do all kinds of provocative things and they don't get banned for it. But the second that someone accidentally draws a nipple, then they get banned. A, a dot on a breast, boom, banned. The, the second that someone says uh, the F word, banned. But no, these girls can literally do squats for money and nothing's going to happen. Now, I think TikTok is on the exact same spectrum. They have these, let these girls do all this stuff because they know that they're bringing in attention of thirsty guys like you. So they won't ban them. Why would they? They're bringing too much attention. That's like why when OnlyFans decided to say, oh, we're not going to, we're going to ban uh, X-rated content. They revoked that change real quick because they realized that, oh, if that doesn't happen anymore, then young, horny guys like you are not going to go on the website. Same thing with TikTok. But now you're going to be like, oh, no, 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 Kai, there's a For You page. And you're only going to see the stuff that you want to see. I mean, I guess, but that does not... That does not remove the, the fact that there's a bunch of degenerative happenings on the, on the site, okay? 
And number three, one of the biggest reasons why I cannot stand TikTok and it's disgusting is because it endorses pedophilia 100%. Because if you go on that app, okay, you can see plenty of known pedophiles on there not being touched, okay? I got a comment from somebody on the channel here. I forgot which video it was, but he said I look like Little Mar. And I'm like, I don't... I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> so I decided to look into it a little bit. And Lil Mar is like a rapper slash YouTuber. And he's like 19 years old, something like that. But he was recently convicted. We're not, I, was, I, don't know about, I don't know if it was convicted, but he was charged with sexual assault of a minor. And he's on TikTok doing fine. I, I, looked, I looked him up. He uploaded a video a day prior to me recording this. Chilling. There's no, nothing happened to him. So he can literally put hands on a young girl and nothing's going to happen? Okay. And the fact that the, the, the app endorses that is so ridiculous. Are you familiar with EDP? I'm sure you are. EDP 445's tale has been inscribed in stone tablets for future generations to learn what not to do. So I don't think I really need to explain what he's done and why he's so popular. But if you actually have a life and you don't stay on the internet all day, then I'm going to go ahead and introduce him to you. So EDP 445 is a... He was a popular YouTuber who had like a couple million subscribers. He literally just posted videos about anything. And he is exceedingly obese and has shown many times, or he's talked about many times how he struggles with women, right? Dating women his own age. It's not really hard to tell why he's struggling from a distance because he does not take care of himself and he has a very negative view on himself, okay? So... In order to deal with his frustrations, he was caught having a sexually charged relationship or a sexually charged conversation with a girl who was supposed to be 15, but it was actually a, a setup, okay? And he got caught trying to meet with this girl, but then decided to plead his case with, oh, I was trying to get a cupcake, okay? He was soon banned off of every obscure video streaming website known to man. Like, he touched everything and somehow... Well, he, well, he got banned from everything. He even got, like, kicked out of apartments, out of motels, out of everything. He got kicked off of his Uber job. He could not do anything. But eventually, he landed on TikTok. And people were like, oh, whoa, oh, ADP is back. He's back. Oh, my God, we, we miss you. ADP, whoa. And he's, like, releasing videos, and there's no repercussions. I know TikTok knows that, he, that people have said something about this guy. Like, Lil Mar, maybe, I don't know how big he is, but ADP was huge. Okay? <laughs> Literally and metaphorically, he was huge. But people have 100% reported him and nothing's happened. Which is proof that TikTok does not care about who uses their platform as long as they're getting attention and they're getting money. And that's stupid. If you're using TikTok, get off now, dude. I'm, I, I'm actually like super disappointed in you. See, you could probably go find videos from me on TikTok because I did post like four or five. But they're literally just re-uploads of videos that I put on here. I didn't make anything specifically for that website, but I surely realized that this is garbage and I do not want to have a bunch of girls like shaking their butts on my, on my, on my phone. That's stupid to me. Like I have Instagram too, but I don't really use it other than like having you guys text me. Like if you want to talk to me, you can go on Instagram and talk to me. Like I, I'm not, dude, you can go talk to me whenever you want to. Okay. But I do not have girls on my homepage. I literally have like real estate tips finance tips, motivation, fitness, Muay Thai, anime memes, and gym memes. That's literally what I have on there. But I don't. I, I unfollowed from a long time ago all the chicks, all the girls, all the friends. I don't care. I don't want to see your... I don't care. Oh, like my drink from uh, Walgreens. Look at my drink. I don't care about your drink. So I unfollowed everybody, okay? But... Like, just TikTok has such disgusting principles, and they just allow all kinds of de 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 degeneracy, and I'm not happy about it. It's so stupid to me. So please get off of that app. You're not going to make any progress. And then people are like, but it's fun. It's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are funny videos on TikTok. I'll give it that. But why are you spending so much time on the app when it does stuff like this? That's disgusting to me, and I'm not going to support it. So if you do, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Like, please just get off that app, all right? It's disgusting. All right, so that's that's it for today's little rant. Um, it's actually longer than I expected. But, yeah, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Join my Discord server down in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.